welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Riven Lee Sin by popular demand. And uh, somebody over on YouTube saying that they uh, we just played against a Riven Lee Sin the other day and they liked uh, how that deck looked and wanted to see it out in action. So let's go ahead and try it out. So we're going to have um, kind of a combo aggro deck here where we are an aggro deck where we're trying to make a very large overwhelm threat, whether it's one of our champions, you know, Riven or Lee Sin. Now, Riven's going to be reforging and getting us a bunch of blade fragments that we're going to be able to use. Um, important ones are going to be the quick attack, the overwhelm. Those are both going to be really important. Of course, the overwhelm to be able to kill our opponent. The Blade of the Exile does a little bit of everything. But quick attack is really important for our deck for two reasons. One, it, quick attack makes it a lot easier to attack, right? Just, just you know, theoretically, like it, it makes your attacks much better. Um, so we have a lot of ways to give quick attack between the blade fragments, um, rush, a very good burst spell, and then even Legion Drummer, an underrated support card that um, is just going to be a, a nice body at 3-2, being able to attack in it and help out our other attacker. So um, we have a lot of ways to get, give quick attack because we're playing this new card, Flurry of Fist, three mana burst speed, grant an ally, plus one, plus oh, and quick attack. But if it already has quick attack, grant it double attack instead. So that is a grant. It's permanent. Um, so if we if you use something like Legion Drummer, you support and give your Riven quick attack with that, then cast Flurry of Fist. Now Riven will have double attack for the rest of the game. So that's pretty awesome. <laughs> and so if you can pair double attack with Overwhelm, um, all that damage is going to be hitting the opponent's Nexus. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's kind of what our deck's all about. It's just about... Um, you know, buffing up some a couple of big things and uh, finishing the game off combo style with Flurry of Fists. So let's get to it. We're going to go play five games in ranked. Here we go. All right, prediction has started, and we're playing against Twisted Fate Fizz. I think I'm just going to keep this hand. What do I think? Yeah, I think so. I think Nopify should probably be pretty good in this matchup. Like, they're probably going to have Mystic Shots and uh, maybe even, like, Parlay and, and things like that. You know, being a Fizz deck, they're going to have some cheap spells. It doesn't stop, you know, like, Twisted Fate, Gold Card or Red Card or anything like that. Only stops spells, not skills. And I'm playing the Blade Squire. So I can keep the two mana for Nopify available so like I can play like Riven or River Shaper next turn and have that two mana for Nopify. Probably want to play River Shaper. Play Riven on their turn. Wow, that's that's bold. So they just discarded a stress testing, so they're getting a fleeting card. Okay, and they were able to use that you know, get some advantage out of that fleeting card. All right, so now if I if I do lead with River Shaper, it's just going to be trading with this Zonite Urchin. But that's okay. We'll draw a spell. Yeah, that's fine. River shape the land and give it life. Uh, I don't have a specific deck that I'm using for climbing right now. We're just you know doing our thing of you know making our you know playing all these cool decks and everything and trying stuff out, but. I don't have a specific, this is my climbing deck. Um, if I had to choose one, I, I would probably choose, you know, maybe, honestly, maybe that Trundle Braum that we played earlier today, but then, or also the um, the Gangplank's Fate that we played yesterday. I think pretty highly of that Gangplank's Fate deck, even though I didn't have the best record with it yesterday. I know that's what Kordek, who's a viewer here in chat, that's what he uses for ranking up, and he said he's 15-2 and two in his last 17 uh, Masters games with that deck. So we found another Flurry of Fists. Hmm. Do not get to notify that. Overwhelm. Ugh. I need... I need the Quick Attack. Let's play this. Hope for Quick Attack. Alright, good. So I can go quick attack plus overwhelm plus flurry of fists. Ancient 
I mean, there's no no reason not to play this thing first. I should just play that first. It's just the draggling just doesn't matter, right? Like the if I get like the draggling on their turn isn't going to do any damage to them, or like it's not going to block anything because they're all going to be elusive. My next attack turn, they're definitely dead. So it's it's just that that draggling just doesn't matter. So like you just might as well throw away that eye of the dragon. They're not, yeah, they're not blocking the three one because they're they're focused on they're going to kill me. There we go. They have to play a spell. And then if they have a spell, that's a spell. Now those other verbal fishes cost zero. Verbal fish, still not a fair card. But we're not like necessarily doing the most fair things either, but oh well. I, I don't understand. I don't understand. They're Okay. They're like, alright, getting th free 3 1 elusives off Heimerdinger is too good. So, you know what? We're just going to print 0 mana 3 1 elusive plus create a card. Some things just I'll never understand. Alright, so not a, the best of hands. Maybe I should have mulliganed the transfusion also. We need to find champions. What do I think about a mid-range Ash Nocturne deck with Fearsome and Frostbite combo? Here's some stuff there. I should have mulliganed more looking for my champions, I think. Um, yeah, Fearsome and Frostbite is a cool little combination. It'd be difficult to get enough Frostbite and and enough Fearsome and, you know, like, be able and, like, enough Nightfall and put those together and have enough of both and, uh, you know, and, and then, you know, draw the correct parts of, the, of your deck, you know, that kind of stuff. You're going to be pretty stretched thin, but there is some potential there. Yay, Riven. Hmm. Veil Temple. When will I find peace? Okay, another quick attack. Let's go quick attack here. Remember why we fight. And quick attack there. So I have seven mana. I don't have enough. Oh wait, I guess I do have enough. Never mind. Let's see. Stop. So I I, I couldn't flurry and still have deny. But then I can't play the overwhelm card. It is time. So I should attack over here with this thing because this will mean that they're gonna block the eye or block one of these things. We will resist. Yeah, like. Uh, they're going to block something. And no, I'm not great against Hush, but this isn't like the worst Hush in the world for me. Because, yeah, like a Hush there only like just saves them five life. So if, if they do have Hush, I would not have mind them using the Hush right there. Oh, 
He's already at five. Gotta cast two spells if I want to get another Draggling. Played five cards so far this turn, and they still have four mana. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. I unfortunately cannot triple spell, I can't keep my Legion Drummer alive. Because I had to do that so that if they if they would have hushed the Riven, then I would have had Concussive Palm. Shuffle. Yeah, so I, do, I guess this game's over now. Because they just keep gold carding. Um, I do have Deny for gold card, I suppose. Now, this game's Twisted Fate and infinite cards and infinite mana. Not easy to beat. Near impossible to beat. Okay. That would have been nice to have you last turn when I just wasted all that mana. But I'll take you. not kill them. Hmm. He's definitely like expecting like Hush or you know just even gold card, right? Like I I thought like I had to keep deny available for gold card. But I, yeah, this is over now. Yeah, because now they just kill these things. Infinite mana and infinite cards. Stack in the eyes. Literally. Um, I still can't get past Hush, and they should be playing three Hush. So this game should be over. about that thing. Um, I'm still good to but I do care about those. So I, did, I don't really want to stun one first because then they get to just replace it, but I, by stunning I could have something that could block the Twisted Fate.
But I'm, I'm just in a horrible situation. Yeah, most most of these people are playing four, three hush right now. Yeah, my my spells are just too expensive. Dead in their tracks. I mean, Lee Lee does not win this, right? They just play hush. Okay, well, we'll see if they have basically anything to stop Lee Sin. I have Nopify to stop a stun moon weapon, and I have a Deny to stop the gold card from Twisted Fate. So their two champions both stop Lee Sin, but I, I can handle both of those. Um, so, you know, now it's just... You know, do they have do they have another hush or anything in their hand that stops Lee Sin? Because if they have anything in their hand that does, then I'm dead. But it's not completely over. Or they, or they just have to just heal their nexus a little bit. So hopefully no hush. They just use one hush. Something for all. Yeah, or, uh, yeah, even a, a bastion saves them. So many things save them. A Guiding Touch, a Bastion, a Star Shaping. Basically their whole deck and they've drawn their whole deck, so. That's a really annoying deck to play against, that's for sure. Um, this is the matchup, like, I wish we could have just switched, like, our hands, right? Like, this is the matchup that I need all those Concussive Palms, right? Like, we were just sitting with all those con Concussive Palms early. I didn't need that against Twisted Fate. I need it against these Elusives that our opponent had the last time we played this. So let's see. I like, I, obviously, we're going to keep Lee Sin. I'm thinking about just mulliganing everything else. River Shaper didn't do too much for me last time. Probably keep the Sonic Strike for the double spell and challenge. Nopify didn't seem that necessary either. There we go. I'm cold, I'm hungry. Good night, Maximus. Thanks for hanging out today. Attack. Okay, good attack. We'll just save this spell mana. When will I find peace? Get him riven. So if I do riven challenge. No, I'm just going to attack. We'll see. They, they may just block with Ballistic Bot and then also have Mystic Shot, and I don't have no Pify anymore. Okay, good. If I would have challenged, I would have challenged the Bot and not the Fizz. Attack. 
So playing Lisa next turn means I have three mana. So enough for like Sonic Wave plus the plus two plus zero, or maybe two Blade Fragments. And then the Lisa and still gets Challenger. Stacking the odds. Okay, probably just one Blade Fragment and then Nopify protection. So what's my blade fragment going to be? I guess it's going to be the quick attack. We'll give quick attack to Lee Sin and then challenge Tw Twisted Fate that's already at 5 out of 8. Because we don't want them getting leveled up Twisted Fate and goal carding and everything like our last opponent did. I, ca I feel like an, an all-in Riven deck could be, could be pretty good. But I wish we could have like a different splash region, like a region that had better removal. And interaction and, and things like that. Like a better interaction for elusives. Man, they already leveled up Twisted Fate. So only considering doing the plus two plus zero. So like, are they gonna be able to play? If they're gonna be able to play three spells and get gold card, certainly considering doing the plus two plus zero. I think I will just put it up like on the ribbon. So now ribbon would get gold carded and not lease in. Uh, you know, I don't have Nopify now, but Nopify doesn't stop the different cards. So I didn't need to put give the quick attack to the. Um, yeah, so like that was just. Or giving the quick attack to the Lee Sin now. After doing that, I should have gave quick attack to any of the other three. And also probably just don't even need to be attacking with my little 2-1. But it's okay if it dies. If they want to block Ballistic Bot, kill the 2-1. That's fine. It's going to die to red card anyway. But yeah, I should have quick attacked the Riven. I kind of changed my mind of what I was doing there. So I was going to just simply... Quick attack and not have the barrier at first. Always on the run. So the good news is we did kill Twisted Fate. The bad news is they still have a million cards. Can easily have another Twisted Fate. Um, I'm really glad no Mystic Shot right there to kill Riven. Which... Wait, I guess I should play this Blade Fragment. Keeping Nobify up. If I would have played the Blade Fragment last turn, I would have leveled up the Riven to 3 health, but I'm kind of glad we didn't, because now I have the extra mana for the Nobify still. Yeah, it does seem like 90% are against either Twisted Fate or Aphelios. Like one of those two champions. Being able to have all sorts of selection is amazing. That's what both champions give you, just a ton of selection. Still ends up taking three? Cause it gets... Oh, because the barrier doesn't happen until after all of this. So it'll still take three. Yeah, Tibbs. Um, no, it's okay. Um, yeah, so yeah, we'll have a reaction video for the new cards up on YouTube. We've we've uh, spent time on stream every single day talking about them, you know, and then looking over them and talking on talking over them and stuff. But 
Um, I'll wait for the YouTube one until we know more of the cards, and so then we have no more of the card interactions and stuff like that. Um, yeah, we'll definitely talk about that. So we're going to have seven mana. Not as much as I was hoping, mana-wise. Well, I hope they don't have... Yeah, I mean, I, I hope they just don't have Mystic Shot, right? Or, you know, another Mystic Shot or get excited because I can't really protect against either one. But I kind of want to go just Flurry, Flurry. I guess I could do a Blade of the Eggs out, but no, they, then they just Gold Card if I... Or no, they don't get to Gold Card, but they play that thing. Yeah. Got to open attack. Oh, right. It's going to get... Right. It's... It'll have barrier. That still only does that much damage to them? What am I doing wrong? <laughs> I am not, not, like, killing my opponent at all. Yeah, I mean, I, I think... I guess I'm just dead. Looks like I'm dead. Because I have to kill them this turn, otherwise Twisted Fate wins this game. And I can't kill them this turn. Patience. Yeah, there wasn't really anything I could have done, either, to kill them this turn. I can, you know, attack with Riven or not attack with Riven. Um, I mean, I do think attacking with Riven is probably better. I think that Ballistic Bot making these ignitions is pretty bad for me. I don't... Yeah, I guess I just can't win this game. Yeah, just don't have a leveled up Lee Sin. So I needed I need one more spell to level up Lee Sin. But I couldn't. Hmm. But I guess so I could have got leveled up Lee Sin, but then I wouldn't have had the double attack. If I would have done instead of playing the double attack one, I would if I would have done the Sonic Wave plus two plus zero. So then it would have been six double attack. So it would have it would have only been two extra damage. Right? No, it would have been. It would have been 12 total. It would have put them down to. It would have done 4 extra damage. It would have put them down to 2 instead of being at 6. But it still wouldn't have killed them. And yeah, this game's over now. This deck's definitely missing something. Like, Ionia. Ionia just isn't a very good region. These Ionia cards just aren't good enough. Okay, all right. I haven't been very impressed with our deck so far, but you know, we're, we're let's try our last two two games. I'm going to be making a small change here. I'm going to actually just take out Eye of the Dragon. None of these games. I don't. I don't feel like I want Eye of the Dragon in any of these games. Now, um, if we play against Burn, I'll probably be sad that I don't have Eye of the Dragon. But whatever. I have not been. That's not been a card that I've wanted at all. So I'm going to take them out, and I'm going to try just playing with some weapon hilts. Um, I don't love weapon hilt, but I think for for um, level, it is two spells for leveling up Lee Sin. And I think that that may be a necessity for getting our extra spells for that. So I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try Weapon Hilt instead of um, Eye of the Dragon. Let's see how it does. I wonder if this deck would be better as like Draven instead of Lee Sin. I wonder if Draven's better than Lee Sin for this. Draven has the quick attack immediately. Gets you those spinning axes. All right, gonna dig for the champions. Okay, there's there's a champion. There's Lee Sin. Nah, singular will. Much too slow. Too much mana. Only a fool would enter battle unprepared. No more hiding. Thanks, Blade Squire. Finally, some action. 
Coming in right on time. You cannot hold us down. Basically, like our the the real problem of our deck is just our Again, this is four four games, four Twisted Fate games. We can't beat Twisted Fate. We can't kill Twisted Fate. They level up Twisted Fate incredibly quickly. At least every single opponent is just playing Twisted Fate plus um, the pick a card. Or not pick a card. Uh, you know, the thing that just draws three cards immediately. So they, they go blue card, and then they draw three cards. And then, you know, go to the next turn, and then draw three more cards. And their Twisted Fate's leveled up the very next turn. And then I, I can't beat red cards and gold cards. Right? Like, our, our deck can't beat Twisted Fate. And so with Twisted Fate... And even Aphelios, we can't even beat Aphelios either. Like we can't beat either of these two champions, and they're the most, the two most popular champions. So this looks like a pretty poor choice for a deck right now. When you, we just match up too poorly against these champions. Like they, it just, it's way too much stun and hush. And, uh, you know, like that, that combination, we just seems to be a very poor match. Okay, yeah, Roa says that you're, you're playing Draven Swain with this combo, plus, you know, yeah, I I could see Draven being pretty good. But yeah, so you're doing Draven Swain with that with that thing, and then Dragon's Rage. I do like Dragon's Rage. Dragon's Rage is a, you know, real removal spell. I do like that. Maybe I should be giving my Legion Drummer Quick Attack here also in case of Pale Cascade. I kind of wanted to just save my spell mana though. That's that's what, ideally, that's what I wanted to do and hold on to these, but save save spell mana. That weapon hilt was definitely more valuable than an Eye of the Dragon would have been. So the wep weapon hill already doing its job. So not bad. Okay, it is pick a card. That is what that's called. I'm only at three right now. The power of the written world. Enter your spirit. Alright, so we're at five. Currently have five spells for Lee Sin. Plan is deep meditation next turn. Yeah, I could see playing Calling Strike in this deck. Ron, that, that's a that's a good card. That's that's a very good card, and that that could fit really well in this deck. And that that's a good answer to to Twisted Fate and even like Aphelios that they're gonna be playing. Like there's some blessed vigors and uh, things like that. Yeah, and it's good against Box of Yeah, Culling Strike's awesome. I don't really consider it too much, but that that makes that makes a lot of sense. I mean, I think I like Culling Strike more than like Concussive Palm. I have not liked the Concussive Palms. Um, yeah, I would, I would be all for playing Culling Strikes in this deck. That could be that could be a really nice addition. It can also help like if you, so you know, if you attack 
with an overwhelm they block you can have a cooling strike help add in extra overwhelm damage too They're keeping Hushman available. Conflict is all in the mind. This is fun. Now, because you may, I may need like this barrier after a hush, like right, like that's that's the thing is like if hush was in a card, our deck would be much better than what it is. But the thing is, is like they're just gonna hush. Um, but that, yeah, if I if I go spirits refuge there on that other one, that I mean. Hmm. So let's see. All right, so Lee has overwhelm right now. So eleven mana. See, like, that doesn't even, like, kill them. You can just take it. Yeah, I mean, I just don't have... I don't have any other choice. But to flurry. Because, like, let's say... Okay, so, like, let's say I just go for the Spirit's Refuge, which would, you know, heal me a lot. And then they hush. Then I... Even if I go, like, Rush Fury, I don't, I don't have the Overwhelm anymore. So I don't do more damage to them. So I still lose if I go Refuge to Hush. So either way, I lose to Hush, so I might as well just play this. Playing Legion Marauder doesn't make any sense against because they could go Twisted Fate Gold card and then the, make... Yeah, so that... That does not... Should not... Yeah, we can't play Legion. Maybe they have no hush? Alright, two shakedowns. I'm gonna put them down to one. Because zero mana three one elusive isn't good enough. Zero mana, three one elusive just isn't is not good enough. We have to create more cards too. Deal me in. Who says I don't share? Wow, do they really just attack like that? Did they really just attack like that? Not just put the elusives first? Or even just only attack with the elusives? Are you kidding me? Is it because I put 0 and 4? That it just made my opponent just do the only... <laughs> the only thing that I could stay alive? How? What are they doing? 
That was the worst possible attack. That was, that was the only, <laughs> yeah, I can't, we should, should not have won that game at all. That was the worst possible attack. Okay, I'm speechless. I, I don't know. Okay. Alright, so I took out Eye of the Dragon. So we'll see how we do with no Eye of the Dragon now that we are playing against an aggressive deck. Um... It's not a Twist of Fate deck, it's still Bilgewater, but it's not a Twist of Fate deck. We're going to Mulligan, and I have the attack token on turn four. Sonic Wave, so we'll keep... Okay, so I'm going to do nothing on turn one or two. Riven on three with Sonic Wave. And then Lee Sin, like this is... Not necessarily the best for us, but... We'll see. Lifesteal Barrier would be really nice to have. River Shaper is a very, very poor card to draw. And unfortunately, after our mulligan, we've only drawn three very poor cards. So second lease in, two River Shapers. Yeah, this was us getting destroyed. The Dars with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you, Dars. I appreciate that. Thanks so much for the support. I really, I really, really appreciate that. Yeah, our opponent's deck plays a whole bunch of one drops. Half our life total already gone. They did not have a bad hand. One drop and then double spell on turn two, double spell on turn three. And the game is over. I need to draw Lifesteal Barrier. Looking for trouble. It found you. So obviously I'm killing Misfortune. There's still much yeah, and I gotta just do it with River Shaper. Takes all my mana, but... And if they... If they block anything with Riven, if, you know, if anything blocks Riven, I'm happy. Because then that's that's one less thing of like with them going wide. I hope we draw a Lifesteal Barrier. But that's a, a heck of a hand what form will the waters take? they had over there. Do they have another? Okay, at least they don't have another one drop <laughs> to play another card. Okay, well, we drew Nopify. Worst possible card. A gift from the river folk. Damn it. Their spells are Noxion Fervor and Decimate. Those kill me. I do not have any plan on staying alive this game. My 
most likely plan of staying alive was them just not playing any spells, not playing the Nocturne Fervor. Yeah, that was a... That was a really, really good solid hand for them, and a very poor draw for me. And that was not close. But it doesn't get much better than one drop, double one drop, Legion Grenadier one drop, Misfortune, and then... Uh, and then Zap Spray Fin, then Gang Plank. That's the best it gets. Okay, so um, overall, those of y'all that are big fans of this deck, I'm sorry I didn't make it look very good. Um, yeah, it, I I would be interested. I would be really interested to hear from y'all on um, over, like especially y'all on YouTube that uh, play this deck a lot, and um, you know how what. What are like the differences that you have in your deck? What what cards am I missing? How do you beat Twisted Fate decks? You know, Twisted Fate, Aphelios decks. Like how how do you actually beat the card Hush, and um, you know, Twisted Fate Gold card and uh, and then Aphelios with the Stun Moon weapon. I don't know. It seems it seems very very fragile, and um, yeah, it wasn't wasn't my kind of deck. You know, like every everybody has different kind of decks they enjoy playing. Um, some more than others. I know some people really enjoy playing this kind of deck. Myself, I did. I was was not my kind of deck, but that's okay. Um, I did like our Spirits Refuge. All right, but anyway, that's it here for Riven Lee Sin. Some of them are like this. Uh, those y'all watching it again on YouTube, let me know. I would really like to uh, to uh, hear about that, about your experiences with this kind of deck. Um, but besides that, of course, make sure to hit that like button as well. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I can't ever say that enough. I really do appreciate y'all. Thank you very much. And I will see you for the next video.